Okay, so now listen, if you haven't gone to work so far and you're kind of hanging around the house just trying to figure out what the post-holiday Tuesday is going to be like, don't worry. I've got a guest that's going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been professionally, Melinda Vale, uh, using your gift to help others? 25 years, Pat. And for 25 years, you've been hearing medium jokes. I have for 25 years. But I have a joke for you since you just had the hearing aid lady on. I wear hearing aids, so the joke is that people are going to a deaf clairvoyant. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that joke before. Uh, excuse me, let me try to figure out where it is that you're going to be. What? Um, all right, Melinda Vale, clairvoyant, medium, intuitive, Anything else? Oh, I do some hypnotherapy, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I have a couple books out and do lots of speaking. In a place called the Empowered Living Center. Empowered I like the Living short Center. one better. Yeah, our nickname the is The Lighthouse because yeah. we try to bring light in and help people understand how to find their light. Well, you have been here on a number of occasions, which means I kind of think you're one of the legit ones. Uh, there are all too many who aren't. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about how a gathering of really good people are going to help some other folks if they come to Sedona to see you. Well, we're doing a Brave New Heart weekend in Sedona. That's June 10th through 12th. And actually, on Friday night, Sonny Don Johnson and I are going to do a night of readings, which should be pretty exciting. But, you know, Pat, there are a lot of people in this business, and you know I've used this term called fruit loopers and wind chimes, people that are out in La La Land. And do you know that in this country right now, we are no longer number one in education. We are no longer number one in life expectancy. We are no longer number one in understanding how electronics and, and all of that stuff works. But we're number one in believing in angels. I, I, and I'm thinking to myself, are you kidding me? Okay, so that means we can have people in this business that are running amok <laughs> and teaching people things that they shouldn't be teaching. And so my whole thing is about empowering yourself through your spirit and staying grounded on the earth and finding a place within you to, to understand yourself as both spiritual and human beings so that you can stay empowered on the planet. And that's what this so, weekend is about. So if somebody comes up to Sedona then, you're saying the chances are if you're open to it, that those changes can take place that fast? Well, what I'm saying is that we can help people understand how to make those changes. And it's not just about going to a seminar and then walking away and scratching your head and saying, okay, now what? I think virtually everybody who has ever seen us have a conversation. They are assured that there is no conversation that we've planned in advance. There is no preparation, there's no rehearsal, right? N no. And that's why at this moment, you're beginning to perspire a little bit because... <laughs> because I'm saying, afraid of what you're going to ask me. What, what is McMahon <laughs> up to now? No, I've never asked you this. Um, give me one story off the top of your head of the thousands of human stories that you've been involved with. One story that uh, is from your practice and what kind of an impact you had on that person. I'll give you a recent story. Child, 17 years old, father um, died by his own hand when she was younger. Mm. Father came in, he was known by his middle name, but he gave me both of his names, first and middle. Now I understand as an evidential medium, I want the person on the other side to give me real information or I don't play. I don't want to do any nonsense, okay? I'm not going to tell you that they love you and miss you and so what next, okay? They're going to tell me how they died and who they're in heaven with and what's going on. This particular gentleman gave me a, a picture in my head of an animal. I said to the child, why is he showing me this animal? And she began to cry and said to me, because that's what I was teased and bullied that I was when I was a child. Ooh. And so then I was able to say to her, I know you're afraid that you're going to be like your father and you're not. And so she walked out of there not being afraid of repeating her father's patterns, which is something that we actually talk about in karmic profiling, which is my, you know, thing is, is understanding karmic profiles. Explain what that is. A karmic profile is exactly what you've come into um, on this planet that repeats both nature, nurture, emotional maturity, um, understanding who you really are. And there's what we call fractal, that's Greg Braden term, fractals of time where something happens in childhood that is repetitive as adults. And we're, 
and we repeat things over and over again. And in order to empower ourselves, we have to understand those fractal times and make shifts. So what I was able to do is help this child understand that she was not going to repeat that energy. And so she could move forward feeling more grounded within herself simply because her father was able to speak with her. So, do you know if she did? You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't. That was a very recent story. Thank you story. for that honest answer, though because I would never know. So remove the Fruit Loops and the wind chimes from the studio, please. Apparently this is a legitimate one. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when you mentioned that you were gonna be doing readings. Yes. Does that mean if somebody books a reservation for this event in Sedona, that they're gonna get a chance to talk to a loved one? I mean, is there, is there a, a limit well, you to know, the I'm number a little of people bit, you can see? Yeah, I'm a little bit different than a lot of mediums because uh, for some reason I have the ability to kind of go pretty quickly. So I can have 50, 100, 200, 300 people in front of me and can get to more more dead loved ones than other mediums can. You know, um, you go and you see these events and, and one, two, three, maybe four, five people maybe get something. Yeah. I usually get 20, 25 people that get something. And in between something. you get laughs because I've been there and I've yeah, seen Yeah, because it. death is fun, Pat. Death is fun. <laughs> On that, we will wrap up this part of the morning scramble <laughs> knowing that you get a chance to meet uh, Melinda Vale and a number of other people too uh, over a period of time, right? A couple of days? June 10th and 11th and 12th. At Sedona, a best location I could ever possibly imagine. And we'll be back in a moment.